The full irrefutable evidence that Hunter Biden had been enriching his family by using his father's position of power continues to grow. And still, the mainstream media refuses to cover what amounts to nothing short of blockbuster evidence of the Biden family's compromising ties to communist China. Senators Ron Johnson and Chuck Grassley have been at the forefront of uncovering this evidence, and for the past two days, they've been exposing various transactions that clearly represent ties between Hunter Biden, the Biden family, and communist China. Why don't you take a look at this? This is the bank record of a wire transfer back in August of 2017 for $5 million from a company that investigators say is, quote, closely connected to CEFC. That is a Communist Party-controlled Chinese energy firm. Well, Senators Johnson and Grassley say they can prove that Hunter Biden controlled the account where that $5 million ended up. What was this money used for? Well, Senator Grassley spells it all out. Watch. This is a paragraph from the LLC agreement. It shows that Hunter Biden was paid $100,000 per month. James Biden was paid $65,000 per month. And Hunter Biden will be paid a one-time retainer a fee of $500,000. They say they can back all those transactions up. And on top of this, we are now also learning of a $1 million wire transfer a few months later in November of 2017, directly from that Chinese energy firm to the same account the senators say is controlled by Hunter Biden. So investigators believe that money is related to Hunter Biden's ties to a man arrested by U.S. authorities back in 2017 for international bribery and money laundering. He's known as the Chinese spy chief Patrick Ho. Apparently, Hunter represented Patrick Ho. What that entailed is still unclear, but thanks to Hunter's laptop from hell, we know that Hunter knew exactly who he was dealing with. Listen. I have another New York Times reporter calling about my representation of the, literally, Dr. Patrick Ho, the <laughs> spy chief of China. My representation of him, and then we've got million dollar checks, five million dollar checks floating around. This is real, and it needs to be heavily investigated by not just these senators, but by law enforcement, the FBI, everybody. May I remind you, all this is going on at the same time Hunter Biden was serving on the board of that now infamous Ukrainian energy firm, Burisma. Burisma paid Hunter tens of thousands of dollars each month. To this day, Hunter denies any and all wrongdoing. That goes for Joe Biden's brother, James, too, who, by looking at all of this, appears to be knee deep in it. Watch. In October 2020, Senator Grass and I requested to interview Hunter and James Biden about their financial dealings. Unfortunately, rather than being transparent, honest, and forthcoming, they declined to speak for us or to us. Their silence speaks volumes. Well, Senator Johnson did a great job laying a lot of this stuff out. It continues. The media refuses to cover what could be the most damaging political scandal with the most serious national security implications of our time. The DOJ, the Department of Justice, is slow rolling this investigation. They say they've had one for three years. Where's any outcome? They slow roll it, here's why. The findings will be damaging for the entire Biden family. You can count on that. Just look at Hunter's laptop. If just one of the many potential felonies and misdeeds revealed in it proves to be true, well, Joe Biden should be removed from office instantly. President Trump knows this, and this week, well, President Trump did what he does best. He triggered the left by calling on Russia's Vladimir Putin for help in all of this. As long as Putin now is not exactly a fan of our country, 
Let him explain why did the mayor of Moscow's wife give the Bidens, both of them, three and a half million dollars. for That's a lot of money. She gave him three and a half million dollars. Maybe Putin's got some answers to it. So as you can imagine, the mainstream media is going nuts over this very basic request. Putin may be our enemy. In fact, he absolutely is. But if he's willing to hand over evidence that Joe Biden could be compromised, why wouldn't we look at it? Maybe Putin knows the answer. Why did the former wife of the Moscow mayor write that check for $3.5 million to the Bidens? I would think Putin would know the answer to that. I think he should release it. I think we should know that answer. Well, I agree with you, Mr. President. But since the Democrats, since the media, and to no surprise, the DOJ refused to investigate Hunter Biden and the alleged Biden family enrichment schemes in any real meaningful way, Congress needs to. And thanks to Senator Grassley and Senator Johnson, they're doing that. Here's another guy who's trying to do it. Yesterday, Republican Matt Gates sent his committee into a frenzy when he forced it to accept the contents of the Hunter Biden laptop into the congressional record. He appeared on our program shortly after that. Hunter Biden could be a point of vulnerability for our country. The deals, the schemes, the kickbacks. You don't think the Chinese and the Russians and who knows who else could use that to compromise the first family and to get them to act in their interest instead of the American interest. So that, folks, is the key question. That Republican, Democrat, it doesn't matter. Every American should want to get to the bottom of it. Is Joe Biden, the man who occupies the Oval Office, compromised? Does Russia and China own him? It certainly could explain why Joe Biden lets our enemies call all the shots over and over again. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Experts are warning the current 40-year inflation high will only get worse. See how to protect your IRA with gold. Get a free info kit like this one at birchgold.com slash Newsmax. There's no cost. There's no obligation. Just get your free info kit at birchgold.com slash Newsmax.